What do you think? Think I should shave? Think I should keep the beard for the winter or should I shave it off? What do you think? Yeah. How about that? Mustache? All done. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Hmm. I think I like the beard better. Let's see. No beard. Yeah, definitely gonna have to stick with the beard. Yeah. What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. We are in the studio and this is kill number... Oh, let's try and focus on my face, huh? I think this is kill number 32. And this is an exciting kiln because we, we filmed a tutorial, a glazing tutorial, and everything that we glazed was in there. So if you want to see how we glaze some of the stuff in there, just go check out that video. It's also exciting because we have a custom mug for Amy Savage, one of our patrons. That's in there. This video, we're actually going to like have three different videos all from this kind of kiln unloading. So we'll unload it. All right, I think that's it. This is probably the most excited I've been to open a kiln in a while, and I gotta keep the beard, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. So exciting. Minnesota ornaments, candy skies. That's gorgeous. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be a fun one. Get pumped. I'm really getting kind of creative and fancy with the, uh, the camera work here, so. Comment below. Tell me if you love it or hate it. Okay, so first things we got out, these ornaments, right? And these are just like, I'm very excited about these. Got that glass on there, that's got a bubble on there. Black, black, black and blue. White with a tree underneath, that's pretty cool. That turned out really sweet. So basically, I'm putting all those up on stilts that look like this. I've been sick for like so long, like three weeks, but I think I'm getting better. All right, so these all turned out sweet. MN, little MN with a bunch of recycled glass in there. Little Minnesota with a heart. A red Minnesota with glass. Those are really fun. All right, everybody, the long-awaited bowl that I put my heel through at the Art Wander. So I was walking and I stepped back and I just put my heel right through there. That's what happens when you put your foot in a bowl. A bunch of people, a bunch of you guys have asked about this bowl if I was gonna glaze it. And I did, I did, and this is it. Turned out pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, then we just got a bunch of Canyon Skies mugs. I swear, Canyon Skies, that, that looks really good. Minnesota right there. I don't know, I don't know if I can do it. Trying to get fancy with the camera. More Canyon Skies. Those turn out sweet. All right, here is that first big bowl that we, I did the glazing tutorial about. So this was, it had black, ooh, that's bright, black around the edge, and then the next layer was green on the whole thing, and green on the back side too. And then, look at how perfect that is. Whew. And then buttercream on the whole thing, which that buttercream, that buttercream is what creates that sweet coloring right there. So anyway, I will talk more about this in the glazing tutorial. But then we got a bunch of sweet Minnesotas out, more. And then this one, I'm actually really excited about. It's that Albany Brown. There you go. Like, that's cool, really cool. A Couple of those Minnesotas got pretty stuck, but got a bunch of them out. And then just plain clay. Comment below, what do you think? Plain clay versus like, this kind of a cool design. 
This was kind of based on the back channel mugs that I pulled out. And then, what do you think? The glass? You like the glass color in there or do you like the bare clay? There's a bunch of them. That's so awesome. So, on this one, I just had way too much glass and the glass just went whoop, dripped right off onto the shelf. Now I got a bunch of glass on my shelf. That's okay, you know what? Everything can't work out. Everything's not always gonna work out. You're gonna have some, you're gonna have some pieces that are, you struggle. And that is okay. Because if you're not failing, you're not getting better. I apologize, this kiln opening might be like 25 minutes long. All right, let's get a couple of these. All right, so, fun, fun. All right, so, pine tree with canyon skies dripping. This wants to focus on my face, which I guess is good, but pine trees where that drips. That turned out really cool. Actually looks kind of even different than the Canyon Skies normally looks because it's only around the top. Look at that drip on there. I just like, just wanna like, no, that's gross, sorry. So good, so good. Another one, look at that. Look how it dripped right in between the trees. Look at that. Beautiful. We have this mug for Amy Savage, and I'm really happy with it. It says H-Y-G-G-E, and the drip kind of went over the E a little bit. So Amy, I hope you don't mind. It does have a lid that goes on it, and that lid fits perfectly, and it also has that little cutout so that the tea strainer can go through. But that turned out really, really good. I am very happy with it. The only thing would be that huga. I mean, you know what it says? Stuff like that, it would kinda, it used to bum me out, like if it didn't turn out really exactly how I wanted it to, but now I kinda like, I don't know, I, th I like it. I think, you know what, it's not perfect, it's okay. It's pretty sweet. Like, that was a good idea, Amy. Good idea to have a lid on your mug. Keep it hot. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, we're getting a little, getting a little too drippy here. Getting a little bit too drippy. These were some drippy mugs and dripped off. So I know now that I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my glazes so they're not quite so drippy. I mean, this one worked out perfectly. Some of them are great, some of them are a little too. Here's a mountain mug, this one is very nice. Very, very nice. Why don't you wanna focus on the right thing? Yep, got a couple drips, not too bad, but a couple, these aren't too bad. Got a drip on there. I'll just grind that off. A bunch of completely white, totally matte white mugs. These are for a custom order. Look at that. Pretty happy with those. That's not too bad. I mean, it's totally different than anything that I was going But someone wanted some completely Straight matte white mugs. We got some more of these Minnesota ornaments. This one's probably my favorite one. It's that dock. <laughs> it didn't break, don't worry. Then I heart MN, heart, MN, and MN with trees. Boom! We did it! Oh, we did it. This was a what a fire, what a fire. Canyon Skies mugs, we got, oh, so the other mugs that we did, I think this was the other mug, yeah, this was, so this was the mug that we did for the glazing tutorial. So if you wanna see how, to, how we glazed this mug, go back and check that one out. We did that one, and then we also did this one. This is like the slowest focus camera ever. I mean, I know like I don't, I shouldn't need new equipment or whatever, but so the, this mug, we, is the Canyon Skies, and we glazed that, so check out that other video if you wanna see how we glazed it. And then this, we also showed you how to glaze this. So there it is, those three. Pause for a thumbnail. Glaze these mugs. So Amy Savage is a patron of mine, and if you, the top tier of the Patreon page, if you go over there, is you get a custom mug. And I think there's only like, 
I only put four spots because I don't want to be making like a thousand custom mugs. So if you want to go to the Patreon page and support me and have your own custom mug made and have a video made about it, head over there. And it, I mean, this, it takes a while, so don't expect anything like to come in the next, you know, quickly. But. Wow, that might be a record for the longest kiln opening. Yeah. So I gotta give a shout out and a thank you to my newest patrons. The newest patrons are Nicole Kohlhauser, Adelie Mitchell, who Adelie Mitchell, you've been watching my videos since way at the beginning. Annette Meglino, Alan and Julie Gunther, Gunter, who else? Alice Cease, Kristen Beam, Blair Lynn. Is that all the newest patrons? Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it so much. You guys, you keep the kilns hot, you keep the cameras rolling, you keep the progression, the videos, the creativity flowing. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. If you're interested in the Patreon page, head over to patreon.com slash John the Potter. I'll put the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment below, tell me what your favorite piece was out of here. And I think that's it. I think that is it. We'll see you in the next video. I think that's it. I hope I didn't miss any patrons. I'd feel really bad. Teaser, I'm building a new studio. Only if you watch till the very, very, very end of this video are you are gonna see this. So most people will have clicked out, but many videos to come about my building of my new studio. Get pumped!